I don't have dice. You. I'm just a fucking bird. I'm gonna jump in while there's a bunch of dice. <laughs> I have extra. Oh, you are. <laughs> <You're laughs> <you're laughs> <laughs> Jones is going head north back to San Francisco because yep. that's where she can make money. Yep. You're gonna be getting on the Sequoia Star. What kind of ticket do you want? The money. Um, First class, second class, or third class? First class. class. First class. Twenty-eight dollars. Really eat your food. Eat your food. Oh, and you said eight dollars. Okay. It's eight dollars for their upgrade from second yeah, class. Yeah, dollars. Okay, so you can afford it. So, everybody, on um, May 21st, you board the Sequoia Star. Oh, wait. Second class. Second class for you. Second class is going to cost you uh, $20. And there goes all my cash. Okay. <laughs> Dang. Well, uh, you brought it back That's my horse. Yes, yeah, your horse can go in one of the cow cars. Uh, and they're all leaving at the start What right class now? are you taking? Uh, How much what does classes that cost? are there? One, two, and three. What's one cost? Thank one you. is twenty-eight bucks. Thank you, twenty-eight bucks. No, I mean third. Third, third, third class is fifteen dollars. That'll get you all the way to San Francisco. Does the horse going in the cow car cost any extra? Uh, not for first class. I'm gonna, uh, uh, it's yeah. gonna be an extra five bucks for you. No, it's gonna be extra two dollars for you. What's the conditions in third class? Yeah. Twenty dollars. It's seats. Okay, here we go. Like it's seats. Hold on. There's nails and everything. Oh, oh, boy, boy, you can <laughs> sit. <laughs> so no, let's not go crazy. There's a lot of us. We have to be. Um, let's see, the third class day coach, um, blah, 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 um, 12 high back, upholstered and mohaired covered bench oh, seats, <laughs> with enough what? seating for about 24 this? people, this is third class, the seats are narrow, there's not much room for anything more than the passenger or two each, um, second class has, uh, uh, let's see, second class, the wooden benches are pivoted to swing either way and can be lowered and flattened to make beds. Um, you can purchase cotton sheets for $2.50 extra to sleep in them. Uh, that gives you the cotton sheets, a wooden board, and three square pillows stuffed with straw and covered with quite thin cotton. That's right. <laughs> um, and then first class, <laughs> also first class has the only access to the dining car. Uh, and... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he eats. Um, so, what do the others eat? <laughs> food. Lunch. Of course, when the train stops at various towns, you can stop and get food there. Put a restraint on the road. No, no, no. I think we're on second class. We're going to pass the scraps. Um, Here you are, Mr. Marshall. Oh, for a cost of $4, second class, you can claim a private upholstered hinged upper berth and buy a feather pillow for your head. Ooh. Um, there's only eight of those per car. Um, and there's only one second class car. There's two third class cars. Um, day coach riders can upgrade to second class, blah, blah, blah. And then first class is, um, let's see, seats are covered with plus upholstery and rich hangings decorate the hand carved inlaid wall paneling. The facing seat backs can be lowered and flattened to make beds and eight upholstered hinged upper berths for any side of the car can be lowered and flattened for traveling at night. Uh, there you go. And then at one end of each car, there's like um, a pot-bellied stove in a, in a box full of sand that is used to heat it up. At this time of year in May, it's not terribly necessary. Most of the, the windows are going to end up being open. So, Second what you want? Class. Second class. All right. Let me jot these down. So, Lambert Auto is in second class. Okay. Uh, you're going to want to bring a sack lunch. Uh, you do have access to... Do you have access to this? I'll put it on your show, maybe. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, you really don't have access to anything else. You might be able to get into the lounge if you're careful. Um, rhymes with wolf. You're with him, right? What is Jack West paying her for? She ain't got no money. I'll tell you that. No, no, I had a question. Could I, like, buy a ticket for my horse for $2 and ride with him? There's not no space. No, no, he'll have to. Some, some guys will Oh, yeah, no, yeah. As well. No. What are you, what are you so taking? So what if I use stealth and I hide with the horse? But so I think she means, like, you're not going like to be able to go to the train. I was caught, a hobo If drifter. you're caught, you'll be thrown off the train. You know that. How are you going to sneak into the, the cattle I'm car? Like, <laughs> How are you going to sneak into the cattle car? I would buy your ticket. I'm like, okay, all right, fine. What do you want? What are you riding there? Take care of my own. Let's see. Deloitte is first. So it's 15, 20, and 28? Uh, yes, plus so extra for like bedding and stuff like that. If I can bring Moondog along, that'd be cool. 15, 20, and 28, yes. No. I just remember, it's very happy to go back to San Francisco. 
So That's fine. I haven't had my horses. Come on, make a decision. Just what do you want to travel? Do, uh, the cheap seats. First, uh, third class. Well, actually, no. I might as well do the the, the okay. mid mid range. So second class. So you okay. and her are second class each, and that's twenty bucks each. Thank you. Uh, Father Bishop, what are you? Uh, I was second class. You were second, okay. Little... Marshall Pierce. First class. First class, ooh, spending that money. Uh, Jack West is second. Wilder is first because you paid him up. Uh, Weisfeld is first. Kali is first. I'm assuming Gemma Jones is first class. Yeah. Okay. Um, Dad is hands up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, I was looking down, sorry. Yeah, yes. um, so how much time has passed since we did the town? Ah, uh, that's right. You've got injuries still, don't you? It has been five months since you all the flats. I got paid from the government. Paid? What do you mean? Federal marshal. Yeah, and that's already figured into all your stuff. Your daily expenses... Yeah, it's not like you're saving up money. Your daily oh. expenses and stuff are your pay, essentially. Mr. DM, can I please get my one hit point back? Yes, you're going to get that back in a month, I think. Five dollars? <laughs> it's been a month since Yellow Flats. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking no, 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 no. no, no, no. It's been a month since Yellow Flats. That's the last time you're on. Does anybody else have any injuries? Did anybody else get injured? Okay. Because it's been a month since Yellow Flats. Yeah. So if I get a $28 ticket to go to San Francisco on business and I get reimbursed. Save your receipts. I did. <laughs> okay, yeah. You could probably, you'll probably get reimbursed for that. They, they would, for it. No, no, no. They, they're gonna, they're, they would probably reimburse you for travel expenses. Nice. That's okay. Stuff. And um, you're kind of a, an agent of your own. Wait, I never did that. Yeah. Wilder in first class. <laughs> yep. Oh, the man of the bear skin. Yeah. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, oh, yes. Some yes. of these people are looking at each other, but there are some other rough and rugged fellas. You guys also recognize another person in first class. I don't know if you want to sit yeah, with him or not. Jakali, <laughs> he was in. No. He was in. Uh, he was. <laughs> Ben's <laughs> case is perfect. Whoever's in first class can look at that. Yes, Tawilia is there. Does anybody want to actually sit with Tawilia? Nope. Nope. That guy will not wake you up. Nobody's going to sit with Tawilia? He's busy working on something. It's a box of something. Good for him. He's working on some sort of box. Me and your colleague. Now I'm curious. What's in the box? You guys are talking in a first class seat. You're in first class. Oh, you can look Hand this to uh, hand that to Kyle. He's seen this guy too. Did you look at this picture? Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, he's in first class. You want to sit with Twiller? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will walk up close and spot hidden on his box. Uh, it looks like a camera, but it's all made of wood. It does have a lens on one side and a button, and he's got it open, and um, there's some electronics or something inside of it. You don't recognize the science at all. Some kind of wires and uh, now, uh, all funny? kinds of little fuses and stuff like that. It's a little odd. Can I make an engineering roll? Uh, 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 tell me what you make. Art. You're leaving an extreme on this oh, one. You've sure. never seen anything like this before. Uh, He's just famous. fiddling with it. Ooh. 29. No. Okay. So you have no idea what that what it is. It's some, it looks like some kind of camera. Okay. Let's see if he even notices you. now. he does. Yeah, of He's busy. He's busy oh, working on it. Okay, so nobody's going to talk to Twilio. Okay. Just He's just working box. on his little box or whatever it is. Um, here, hold on. He's going to be see. curious. I don't want to talk to that guy. He didn't wake me up. I'm mad at him. He will no, tell you everything to. about that box if you just bar on this point train? at it. Uh, there is yeah, a lounge yeah. car. It'll be open once the train's underway. Oh, there's uh, a lounge right. car and there's a banana car. How long is this ride or this first leg? Like, the first leg, uh, let's see. You're gonna talk. You talk to one of the stewards, who tells you that. I should probably pull this out. Uh, he says the next stop is at 10:49 uh, p.m. for water in Orange, California, ma'am. So how many hours is that? Uh, hour and 49 minutes. Okay. Once we leave, and we'll be leaving, and we'll be leaving in five minutes and 39 seconds. I'll go over and talk to Williger. Okay. Yeah, you sit down. I'll, no, I'll I'm just gonna stand up oh. and be like, "Here's what we can do, guys." Uh, <laughs> let's see. Mini, mini. Is somebody in third class? Did anybody take third class tickets? Nobody no. did. So here's second class. Uh, no, wait, that's third class. There's two third class cars. There would be a second class car. Um, I believe that is the first class car. Nope, that's the lounge. Hold on. Why are they covered? The train's up. Because these are the roofs. <laughs> you don't trespass? You're at one. Of course, you're at one. When you remove these, buttons. make sure you put it next to it so if anybody's on the roof, we'll know. Uh, okay, let me figure this out real quick. 
Oh, you can get See, oh. I could have okay. done that. Either okay. six or second class. There's just something on there. Okay. <laughs> so first class, these two are second we're class. We're going to have a bow fight on the roof of a train. It's going to be really cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is there a balance check? Well, we'll five and six are passing the second class. They don't look right. Oh, yeah. shoot. No, no, no. Oh, oh, this one and that one are second <laughs> class. I'm going to be glued to that name. Yes. And what about first class? Check. Yeah, first class is car number nine. Boom. Uh, I think it's this one. They have a pretty far There's the first, first class, yes. So there are there two first class cars? Or There's one, one first class car. Okay. There are uh, two second class cars, because that one's a second class right there, I believe. Open that up and look inside. That's a second class car. There's one first class car. It's like the this is car. the express car right here. Yeah, Wait, they're so this pretty is much the first the class car? No. Second. <laughs> Thir- no, third class. Okay. Second class. Second you can open class. up the second classes. First class. That looks like second class. Is there one bed? This is the lounge car. Or no, that's the dining car. There's the lounge car. These last three are a box car and two cattle cars and a caboose. That looks like that's second class. This looks like second class, but the Sorry, other our way. horses are on the track. Right. Yeah, they're, they're the pretty cattle similar, except it's a lot more plush. Do I know class. which cattle car our horses are in? Uh, sure. Okay, what do you want? First or second cattle car? Uh, a box car and two cattle cars. What's the last one? There are some the caboose. Guys. Well, I know, but is there anything in the caboose? There's people. The caboose, stuff. The caboose is, yeah, yeah, basically where the, oh, the caboose is falling off the chair, Don. You can't lean back, buddy. Sorry. You can the right side there. Of if you want to try this next chair, you can. How does the train order go? That's the front, right? Oh, yeah. So yeah. Sneak around? Yeah, no. Boop, boop, boop. This, this yeah. train's all I thought about doing a sneak around. Circle train? Circle train? Actually, I it thought about it. It spins through the air? Yeah. I thought about snake around, and I was like, yeah, I don't think they'll just confuse me. So if you guys want to go where you are on the train, you can. Okay, guys. Look at those firecracker marshals. Oh, man. I just like a circle. Okay. Like the, what is the animal? Like the animal. Yeah. 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 Like the animal. Where do you want to be in the first class? There's a guy with a bike on the cross. Where's Willard? Okay. Willard's in the back. This shows a bed, but it's too much. 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 Like here. Uh, yeah. Second class people yeah, need to figure out if you're in the front second class car or the second class, uh, the, the back second class car. There's no other. Uh, do you have the 1920s? I gave you that one. I thought you might like that one. Oh, yeah, I did also. I'll just use Evelyn. You can also look in that Victorian box. Yeah, I got There's it. There's some women in that as well. Okay. That's me. Because that one doesn't have a gun, like, out and about. Let's just make sure that these get put back in the correct box. I mean, I do have chaps on. So. Uh, There's two boxes of minis. I just want them put back in the yeah. correct box. Yeah, I think what? Evelyn's in here. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. You have the Indian that you gave Ben last time. Yeah, in the middle of it. Here somewhere inside. Like Indian. Indian? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Down there. yeah. Okay. Who's this? Is this second class? This is me. That's why. Yeah. 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 Where do you want your seats to be, guys? Well. You guys want to sit in there? Jump? Hey, listen up. Where do you want your people to be sitting? This is what I need to know. Are you second class? Yeah, we're yeah. second class. We're up here. Ah, where do you want to be, Gory? Uh, I guess with everybody else. Yeah. Where are you going to sit This isn't a hard question. Pick a fucking chair. I'm picking it. Ah, yeah. Somebody was so low. Give us a side uh, seat. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, side side seat. Do you have my comfortable Indian there? Yes. I see him. He's going with me for a long time. Okay, yes. But. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't really want to sit with anybody. You don't have to. You don't have to. somebody Ah, uh, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, so one for Tell him you don't want to sit with the boy. Wait, can I have my own seat? Yeah. This one's too big. No. Uh, I can't have cool. my own seat. No. Uh, who's not sitting with somebody? I'll no, no, no. I want other strangers that are sitting near you. Yeah, I know. Um, I don't like strangers. Who's, who's this? Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh wait, who's? Oh wait. Uh, this is. Guys holding a rifle yeah, with both hands. I'm not out there yet. That's Wilder, that's Wilder right. and that I believe is Brandon Squid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was top hats, man. 
Wait, that might be. I mean, that's you, right? There's somebody else that could be sitting with you as well. Here's the rifle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I mean, that. Dwarger's in the back here. No, oh, that's the rifle. That's the shotgun. Okay. Dwarger's in the back, fiddling with his device. Right. When you sit down, he looks up, and he goes, Hello! Hello! You're the assistant! Yes. From Yellow Flats. Oh, then he looks around. I've been given a very important assistant job, and I need you to help me with it. Oh, oh, all right. Well, what can I help you with? What's in he the box? He up the box. Oh, what's in the box? This is a new invention I've been working on. I mean, it's a great idea since Yellow Flats. This, I call this my static electricity generator generation battery. It actually pulls static electricity from the... Here, he shows you a gauge that's up in the green. There's a red zone. It's not there. This actually pulls static electricity from the surrounding air in order to power a battery that's within it. That's pretty fascinating, isn't it? I can't believe I got it to work, to be quite honest. But it works really well. I even have this. You see? He shows you the lens. This is a static electricity discharge in case it overloads. If I see the dial goes into the red, it might explode. I, I don't know if it will or not. I, I haven't worked out all that. The physics don't that? seem to really fit, you know. Yes. And they let you bring that on the train? <laughs> oh, yeah. They said they were okay with cameras, and I said, oh, all right. I don't know what they're talking about. Well, can you not take <laughs> it with it while you're on the train? Um, you're going to yell across the... No, I'm right there. Oh, you came down. Okay. Oh well, I'm just I'm just checking up. I need to test off the discharge. I'm gonna wait to stop in one of these towns, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna find a field and test it out. I think it'll be pretty harmless. It'll just kind of like fizz. I think it's like fizz. just kind of. I think that's all it's gonna do. Yeah. But I don't want to try. I'm not gonna try it on the train. Of course not. And what gave you this idea? I don't know. It just kind of came out of the air. I was like, you know, I could probably pull the static electricity out of the air. The physics aren't quite right. They, I don't know why it works exactly, but it works. I've been powering several things. Electricity is the way of the future, you know. Can we all hear this? Um, there's probably some chatter. You'll need to make a listen check if you're not right there. You're pretty close to He's him. He's pretty so. loud, too. <laughs> he does talk pretty loud, but there's a lot of other people talking. There, There's several other people in, in the car as well. Did you get the idea from the present? <laughs> he, like, motions for you two to sit down Suck in front of this. Okay. All right. I'm... Is there anybody else in the first class car except for us? Yes, yes. There's a few oh, other, okay. like, other passengers who obviously are traveling first class. Yeah. So it's not just you I was going to be like, car. he knows, he knows. No. <laughs> there's some other strangers that aren't in the car. I want a spot hidden. Do I see mm-hmm. Rothschild? Um, I don't know if he's, he's just following no, your president. No, he's definitely not in here. Okay. You do not see Rothschild in first class. I want you to tell me the wrong thing. Right? Um... Oh, you're right next to Twilliger, aren't you? Yeah, there's a um, there's a there's a pregnant lady, uh, okay. and uh, her husband. Awesome. And they're very young. They look like newlyweds, or like they've been married like six months. Or what does he do? Uh, he looks like he's just kind of dressed nicely, like a maybe a banker or a merchant or something like that. He doesn't want to tell me. Oh, you're asking him? I didn't. Yeah. Are you talking to these people? Oh, um, Absolutely. yeah. He is actually a. Um, he's he's what is he? He's in dry goods. He owns two stores. One in San Francisco and one in Los Angeles. Good business. And he's very he's very pleased. This is his brand new wife. He's only been married for a year. Uh, they're expecting their first baby in the next couple months. I'm going to tell them this that I'm going to put my rifle under this chair and they better let me know if anybody touches it. You're wearing your badge, right? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, oh, glad to help out, Marshall. Glad to help out. The wife just looks kind of scared. like She doesn't say a word. Yes, she is good. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my next one. Yes. Okay, two questions. What? I picked up the the forty five piece maker off one of those dead guys. Yes. Time. Can I have it? Yeah, if you want to. Okay. It, it has six and, bullets in it. Okay. Mm, oh. I don't have any rounds for it. Oh, that's fine. Uh, you can have um, it. And also, who am I sitting next to? Uh, anybody you want to. Uh, well, there's some. There's class. more people in second uh, class than in first class, so it's I pretty probably, it's pretty packed. I'm probably just have my rifle in the chair and have my saber on my lap. Okay. Be awkward to sit with it. Yeah. Um, there are several people in second class, and uh, people are getting getting their stuff tucked away and put away and that kind of stuff. Uh, so, anything else for Twilliger? He's got this device that he. Um, you two are with Twilliger. He's got this device that he wants to. Uh, He's going to do some testing I'm on gonna it. Call, I'm going to bring Stalloid <laughs> So you just you yeah, wave him over? Yeah. Okay, so you, are you going Stalloid? Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> Professor Stalloid! <laughs> he seems like thrilled to see you. I haven't seen you since Yellow Flats. I'm so 
Well, we've seen with... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Since uh, Riverside. Since the town of Riverside. What happened? I must have overslept. I'm so sorry. You missed a really boring trip. It was terrible. <clears throat> yeah, I got a lot of uh, travel expenses, so I bought a house. You're going to write off the house for travel expense? Oh, God, that's amazing. I wish I knew how to be an accountant. <laughs> he seems thrilled by the whole situation. You see the little box on the ground. That I'm trying to decide if I should tell him about the electric motors. Uh, it's up to you. And you don't have to tell him like, this second either. You guys have a day yeah. and a half ride on I'm your not, I'm not going to say that in this crowded car of people. Oh, okay. Do what? Okay. Uh, you guys hear the train whistle blow? Uh, you hear all the boards from outside. What? Um, the train like lurching into motion. Do it, bud. No, it's not that bad. But it's like <laughs> right around, 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 around as the whole train starts to move forward. You guys see like plumes of smoke above your head. Um, the uh, let's see, boop, boop, boop. Oh my goodness! Now we have to figure this thing out. You guys are all in the same second class car. Who's got the low? Uh, How's the bed? Um, not me. What? Well, what is the bed? I have fifty-five down on it. Fifty-five bucks. I don't know. Yeah, it is it was, if you're lucky. Who's got you know low? What, Nori, uh, low. I just got here. It's basically it's going to be a full. Mark. It's like the seats fold down into a bed. Is basically how it works. Uh, low luck. Who's got low luck in second class? It's two fifty-five. It looks like. Uh, whoever wants to roll it, roll it. Tell me if you get it or not. Roll it. I'll do it. Preach. Preach. Uh, that would be a no. Okay. Be hard enough. That works. So, okay, guys. Okay, guys. Um, maybe a second one. I'm just seeing if anybody's near you guys. Oh, wait, which car are you guys in? Six? Uh, that would be... Uh, six. You guys are in six? Yeah. You guys are in six anyway, so that's where these people are. He made it. There's a lot of... Hold on. There we go. Ooh. I'm a little bit. I'm impressed. With what? He's tough. He's tough. He's tough. He's tough. He's tough. He's tough. Sorry I'm boring you. I made it too. These two people are, these two people are in your second class car. Okay. Uh, looks like a father and his daughter. So, you just noticed them. They're in the second class car. Uh, that's Roth's child. You didn't meet him. They met him. Yeah, come by on the screen. Uh, okay. Sorry. Uh, oh, shoot. We see other people, too. Oh, damn it. I don't understand anything that's going on here. Whatever, if I know anything. Uh, who we got here? Here's, here's another one in car six. Put these, put these next to car six. These are people that are being seen. Oh, is it Ryan? Yeah, it was I like Tom White. Yeah, it is. There's another one. There's another one in car. That's the thing. I'm hoping people will be like, so. Okay. Okay. I think I know why he's in the car. Anyway, so so that's who you guys see in car number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's car number six. You guys are essentially in car number nine. That's first class. Uh, with Terwilliger, did you still want, are you still talking with Terwilliger? Or do you want to sit in those seats and ride with him? Uh, I'll crush your dreams. I'll be telling Stolid about those uh, static box. That While you're sitting there? Yeah. Yeah, Terwilliger helps you with any of the things, but he didn't, he he can talk about the physics of it if you want. Would Mick do that in the box car? <laughs> That's up to y'all. If you want to hear more details on it. No. I believe it is a mystery box. That's fine. Yeah, he's going to test it out next train stop that he has some time if he can find an empty field. Maybe on a cow. It's the most irritating thing to say. Anyway, so... Um, yeah. Um, higher than higher. I was going to say then the higher it goes. So. Oh, guys, this is going to strike the rain. I'm just going to say stop. Okay. The... It's got a button on the side, too. It's got, like, two handles. It's a, it looks like you would use it as a camera. It's got a big button on the side. Um, and that's for the discharge, is what he tells you guys. Uh, <laughs> this is a fucking Tesla cannon. Yeah, I was about to say, it's a weapon. It looks like a camera. It's a tiny box, like this big made of wood. He's going to go... He said, oh, yes, if then you see it smoking, to let him know immediately. I would be like... 
Yeah, well, yeah, you're right across the aisle. Do, do, I, see, do I see anybody smoking in the car? Oh, there's plenty anymore. of people like smoking Why cigarettes more? and oh, cigars in here. Uh, some of them are drinking from flasks. People are just kind of settling in for the ride. Oh, I forget. I smoke anymore. I don't think it's been established. Uh, I don't think your character has smoked. Hey, lounge car's you know, open, You're right? a singer. You would probably not smoke. Hey, your lounge car's open, right? Uh, yes, once you're underway, the lounge car is See open, ya. and so is the dining car. <laughs> See you. You guys can move over to the east side. To the lounge car. That's the lounge, the lounge up there. Oh, yeah. Does the lounge car have a bar? Uh, it does, I believe. Oh, hell yeah. Let's check her out. Over there. So, is this, so the lounge strong. car is the only way first and second class can mingle? <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, they can't come to dining. Let me yeah, check. Right. Let me check. Let's see. Uh, it resembles a passenger car without the bench seats. Instead, several simple but padded armchairs, small round tables, a larger rectangular table. Um, it also serves as the waiting area for diners when the dining car is full. <clears throat> um, uh, there's like a big faro table. Big gambling table is in there. Um, that's where you um, said. That's what I'm I'm not sure if second class can. Is there a I thought you said they could go and spend on two crowd in second Oh, no, it was your own. Keith. Yeah, hold on. Um, let's see. The dining car, one end has a small galley. The other sports booth seats. <clears throat> um, the menu is simple but nourishing. Um, but, but mostly canned foods. Uh, fruit, eggs, mashed potatoes, cauliflower, asparagus, and apple pie. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner are included in the price of a first-class ticket. Hot. Hell yes. Um, I'm going to give you some of that. Oh, no. You're seated as you come in, so it's not uncommon to be seated with strangers. It's wherever they can fit people. Uh, oh. um, I get three slices of that. All right. Um, I'm a good Fairs. Okay, these are like Here we go. Um, third class passengers are expected to stay in their own car. Nice. Second class, you oh. have access to the lounge car. Fuck. So um, <laughs> they can take their post, uh, but they do not get food. Second and third class passengers have to stop in towns and buy food on the way for themselves. Sack lunching it up. Um, um, or yeah, a lot of people in second class have little baskets bad. and bags of right. bears <laughs> with probably food in them. Cook rabbits. Oh, <laughs> guys, guys, we need to top, stop the table chatter. I'm getting a lot from someone from this end of the table. Uh, yeah, okay. So, you're going up to the lounge car. I'm that is there. a place you guys know you can go to the lounge car, second class, if you so desire. Uh, so, you're doing what? Bar time. I'm at the gambling table, apparently. You can be if you want. You can play some some cards. Are these like box? Mm-hmm. Uh, I also run to the yeah, they're just car. open. Okay. Um, you put down the beds. There's some there's some things there. There's some like curtains. Yeah, so what now? I would also run to the lounge car. Okay. Off he goes. Did somebody move to Lloyd? Okay. So. By 9:41 uh, a.m., anybody who's still in second. Uh, no, not no, 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 no. Yeah. By 9:41, you guys are in the second second class. It's not till 10 o'clock that the conductor shows up in the second class car that you guys were in. You can move if you want. You keep your tickets with you. He's going to be checking your tickets as you go through, uh, clicking them off. Um, anything anybody wants to do specifically, besides, you guys are done with Twitter if you want to be. I want to say hi to Jen. Oh, yeah, you can. Yes. Twitter's just fiddling with his device again. Do we all know that we're oh. all called? Do we know that all of us are on the stream? Like, no. do we all have knowledge of no. okay, so You would know anybody that's in first class. You probably saw the marshal walk through. That's the guy that tried to turn you into a prostitute. What? Uh, <laughs> you offered her money and she thought you were trying to piss her. She found that out later. No, but that I, was the I, initial thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was okay, clarified. I, 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 I didn't pull my pants. You recognize him. <laughs> Here's a dollar. Here's you recognize, dollar. you would probably have recognized the marshal. You would recognize <laughs> Bear Man. You would sure. recognize the bear. <laughs> he stands out. You would recognize the lady with white hair, the Indian, and Professor Stoloid. And you probably would have noticed Professor Twilliger in the back. Mm-hmm. Um, he has not apparently noticed you yet. He also had some kind of like notebook or something left in the table. So just FYI. Um, so yes. Would I know the reason for traveling? No. You only know your own reason for traveling. You're heading back to San Francisco. You've been traveling around quite a bit. It's time to go home. When? How do you want to approach her? I mean, you're kind of coming from behind the way she was seated, so you could put a hand on her. Or uh, she's she is sitting with. Um, yeah. She is sitting with. Um, uh, hmm. What the hell would you be sitting with? 
Who cares? We're picking up. We'll say that she's alone. That she's that her little area is, is oh, vacant. Don't fuck on us. Oh, 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 <laughs> well, no, you did. Like, 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 oh, she got there first. It's so nice to see you again. You got somebody oh, to watch so your cool. gun, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's good to see you. Uh, it's a surprise to see you. Again. Really? Yes. <laughs> you are traveling, yes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> new performances, new train. venues? Uh, yes, I will. I'm going back to San Francisco. Because that is where my home is. I've been traveling often, and I feel it's time I go, go back to see my mother. And. Yeah. Home is a good thing. It's good that you appreciate your family. Yes, very much so. So uh, why what are you traveling to for English or Oh, well, we talked okay, about the artifact. We, yeah. yeah. Are we are we doing yeah. this for spooky shit? That's me. Spooky shit. Okay. So <laughs> <that's the laughs> okay. Uh, do you remember, do you remember the uh, the <laughs> artifact <laughs> from Yellow Flag? Spooky shit. It it just happens to be on this train heading to San Francisco. So. Everybody I talk to it says it's bad. Everybody I talk to says it's nasty and horrible and it shouldn't touch it ever and that's awful and everybody dies yeah. around it. So we're checking it out. Yes, <laughs> Better to make sure that nobody touches it. Yes. Curse. That is what uh, some people I've talked to who are more prone to superstition believe. Well, I'm I'm wearing superstition personally. And a smart thing. Mm-hmm. What about your kind? Don't you have legends? Don't you have... I mean, you have legends, you have Bibles and religions. That's very true. I have gone away from such things. When I was a child last time, I really believed. Mm-hmm. And that ends the scene. Yeah, that's fine. You, guys, you can sit together and just chat if you want, have some small talk, tell them. You can tell her about Midnight if you want, about this little cute little town that she has. Yeah, that'd be good. Well, well info dump that. Okay. Um, I, she wasn't here, so it's right. Info dump. They found. They ran. They went to a small town. Uh, there was terrible murder, and they stopped it. And it's a cute little town with a lot of people who are. Uh, how do you want to describe that town? Yeah. Oddballs, crazy people, nut jobs. Uh, Misfit toys. Misfit toys. <laughs> uh, and also, Just Dolores owns folks. a big house there. Oh. Yeah. 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 Unfortunate. Well, you guys did save the lady who was going to drown in the lake. Yeah. And the lawyer, for yeah. sure, even though he did get shot with a shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. Yes. That just all happened in the town of Midnight, um, which is a town of well, very strange folk. But very nice folk, very friendly. Uh, you guys noticed this one man come into the lounge. Everybody's in the lounge. Uh, he's got a deck of cards. And he's sitting down because he uh, looks like he's going to uh, he's gonna set up a game of Pharaoh. Anybody wants to play? Who is he? Uh, he introduces himself as Tom White. That's Tom White. Care for yep. a spot of caravan? I do have one question. <laughs> yes. Uh, can third class go all the way to first? First class go anywhere. First, first, first class go anywhere they want. Nice. I can go to third uh, class. Not the baggage. Not I the can baggage. Teach them. Not the. Like, you <laughs> You want to get your ass kicked? They're third class. So There's probably some people going to be like, I'll be at the hmm, I don't go in. I said, Are they in the box car? The what? The guards? Yeah. They were, you were told that the Crescent's being transported in the express car. That's this guy here. That's the heavily armed one. The box car in the back has other baggage. All of you guys' extra baggage, anything heavy, is going to be back in there locked up. Um, and then there's two cattle cars beyond that. He's, he's setting up to play some Pharaoh if you guys want to play Pharaoh. So. Yeah, I'll play. Okay. I'll play some Pazak. I'm going to make a gambling check if you want to play for a while. Yeah. Um, this is around uh, about 10.20, about 10.30-ish. Um, the conductor also comes to and checks all of your... By 10.30, the conductor comes to and he checks all your tickets, punches them for the first stop in orange. Um, just double checking. Yes. Hey, McGowan's being transported on this train, right? Yes. You think? Do I know where he's at? Um... Did you actually ask where he was being transported on the train? I don't know, did I? I don't think you did. I don't think you I just, did. Uh, you were in kind of a rush to get here, so you think he's on the train as far as you know. Uh, you know express cars are the heavily fortified cars on the trains. Uh, he might be locked up in there. Um, that's going to be way up in the front. It's also probably got a safe where they, if they're transferring any money, that'll be in there as well. Um, you, recognize, you recognize these guys as you were leaving the car from Yellow Flats, these four. Can I tell and, Tom oh, White and Jones, too. You would have seen Can I tell her. Tom White to hold my seat while I go like, check something real quick? 
Yeah. Sure. He'll hold your seat. Yeah, sure, Marshall. Anything for the law. Yeah, anything for the law. <laughs> <laughs> None of us are in class. None of you are what? Nobody's third class. class. <laughs> so, um, everybody except for Otto and Rhymes, you guys have stayed in your seat in second yeah. class, right? Yeah, okay. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's comfortable enough. So um, move me to the express car. I want to go check all that stuff out. Uh, yeah, you can go up to the express car. The door, there's a door um, that is that slides, but it appears to be locked. I wonder if it's that around. way too, but I won't get there by the time it goes. Okay. You're basically on that the, the outside thing. It's got a cover over the top, and um, you rattle on it. You hear a voice inside say, "Who is that?" Federal Marshal Clayton Pierce. Your many guns get caught. <laughs> there's a rattling. The door slides open just a little bit, and you see a, a and, and there's a there's a barrel of a gun pointed at you, caught. Yeah. You see at least two other guys behind you, like this, pointing at the door. Behind me? Behind? No, no, no. Behind, see, behind the guy yes. in the doorway. Oh, behind the guy in the doorway. It's like, it's the... <laughs> you got papers, Marshal? I can like take my badge off. Sure. <laughs> you would have some kind of like paperwork that proves that you're Marshall. Yes, I have papers, sir. <laughs> papers, please. <laughs> he wants to see them. He takes oh, them, just hands them back while he just aims a gun at you. Wowie. Um, there's a discussion inside. Uh, somebody says, "Yeah, he's legit." And then the guy finally <laughs> uncocks his, his pistol and he puts it into the uh, puts it into the holster. And then he slips out, and the door closes behind him, and they lock it from the inside. Um, and you find yourself facing, uh, let's see, who's in charge of these guys? This oh, guy. Oh, you said a step to him? No, no, no. They, he, this guy steps out. Oh, you guys okay. are standing on the outside. Hand this guy down. Okay, I'm okay. He goes, that. James. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got your papers and he gives you a badge. <laughs> yeah, he's legit. Burn it. You don't burn it anymore. <laughs> anyway, so uh, James Coyer, he says, I'm in charge of the men that I've got in there. What do you need? Oh, I'm not trying to start in trouble. I was just wanting to know if the Amagoon was in the press car. I'm the one who was responsible for his bounty, and I just wanted to... Wait, you Clayton Pierce? Yes, is sir. That... Oh, he, he goes to talk to somebody behind him, but the door's closed. Yes, we've got Dan Magoon in there. All right. We're supposed to protect him. There's a few of us. As you can see, we're not taking any chances, and you didn't give the correct signal at the door. Well, if you don't know... Mind me asking, that's a lot of men just for damn Magoon. What else? Now, you saw at least three people total, yeah. including him. There's maybe more. You don't need that much for a prisoner that's already been captured. What else y'all got back there? What are you limiting? I'm afraid we can't, I can't say, Marshal. That goes outside of my orders. It's supposed to be hush hush, nobody knows. Above my jurisdiction? Yes, sir. Well, Straight the from the President of the United States. Uh, oh, God. Indeed. <laughs> but as long as you're on board, if you see anybody acting suspicious, we have a... We, 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 we just don't want anything to happen on the trip to San Francisco. And there might actually... There's been some worry. He looks back at the door again like he's like going to consult somebody, but there's nobody there. Obviously, he's used to being in, this, in the room talking to you with people. There's some worry that there might... Be some people on board who might be up to no good. That's the fear. Well, I'll keep my eye out. Thank you, sir. You just let me have my papers back. Uh, no, he gave, he gave everything back to you. He, he got them before he came out the door. I didn't see them. Okay. If, uh, if you need any help, I'll be up in the first class. But other than that, it looks like you got it. You want to take that badge off. You might even be able to do us one better because then they won't know you're looking, for, looking at it. That's up to you, though. That's up to you. That sounds like just keep your eyes open. <laughs> I think everybody, car, I just went through all that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they probably did. Especially if there are people we're worried about, but just keep your eyes open then. Will do. Thank Please. you, sir. He, uh, he waits till you actually go back into first class before he turns back towards the door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't know what happens there. Um, I'm, but sorry, back to third class. You guys can pop third class off if you want. There's a bunch of people in here. Wait, that's not. That's, that's, that's I already I already opened up third. Oh, class. that's the express card. That express card is throwing me off. <laughs> <laughs> we all flip back on their. Place. Yeah, there's a bunch of people in uh, in third class. Uh, Tom. They run with war. Here we go. Here's some of the people in third class. Just throw them in there. Third class for everyone. All the poor people. Oh. You oh. You can put me back in the lounge car now. Okay. Thank you, sir. Jackie. Do you call me Scarface or Jack? Okay. 
Jackface. Call you the Scarface. Scarface. Call him Jackface. The face. All right, all right, guys. Okay, call you. Um, oh, thank you. Actually, you're you're leaving the the you're leaving. You're walking back through third class, and the conductor comes from the other direction. Gives you a nod as he passes you by. Did you take your badge off, or did you say that there wasn't any point? No, I'll take it off. You've taken it off for now. You can decide to put it back on if you want. I think like you're. I think like everybody's seen it. Okay, you can put it back on. It's fine. Just on. Um, you see him. It looks like the conductor's heading for the express car. And just left. Um, Hope you got papers. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks confused. Uh, um, uh, yes. Well, I want to head towards the express car. Do they keep prisoners there in the express car? Uh, if they wanted to transport somebody securely, that's probably where they would have put them. Yes. Okay. As your guest. But not with the custom. Uh, no idea. <laughs> Well, because we still have Crazy Lady, but I could arrange transportation in L.A. to San Francisco. Crazy what? The Crazy Lady from Midnight. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to say that you've arranged for her. Okay. You had the $500 to put yeah. somebody that you could trust in San Francisco, in L.A. to either find her a place or find a place there. Because there's a lot of sanitarians in San Francisco, so I want right. her to go there. But okay. I didn't want her to um, mess with all this. Right, right, right. Okay, well, what you can do is arrange with somebody to actually transport yeah. her, and you can wire the money ahead yeah, to San, San Francisco, and then pay for their ride to get her up to okay. San Francisco yeah. securely, yeah. and later find a sanitarian. And then I've had it that way. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm following that. Do you want to... Who man? What man? Do you want to talk to you? just pointed. Oh, there's, yeah, there's an American Indian yeah. sitting up there in uh, in third class. Do, do you want to come with us? We're headed yeah, we're going to go check yeah. out the spooky shit. <laughs> of course. We're going to the poor people place. Okay. You guys pass through the lounge. You'll pass uh, uh, Marshall Pierce. Oh, yeah, Ben, you saw the other Marshall Indian. Marshall Pierce walking walk back the other way. Yes. And I just tell them not. they don't need to go to the express car. Yeah, you don't know where they're going. Okay. You, yeah. don't, you don't know they're going to oh, the wait, express car. Yeah. You probably pass them in second right. class. I'll, I'll tell them they can't go past third class. I'll just let them know. Yeah, you can tell them that. Yeah, that makes sense. Papers. Third class as far as you're going to go. And then he walks by as you guys scoot by in the aisle. Uh, you guys can get up to the express car. Um, uh, okay, and you're going to go knock on the express car door then? Is that well, the plane? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's the native, obviously. Yes. Uh, you don't yeah, recognize I'm going to okay. greet him. I'm going to say, mm. are you talking to me? Yeah. I'm going to ask him where he's from. Like, no, I'm never talking to him. Oh, sure. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oklahoma. Wait, do you mean no. in real life? Oklahoma. It was no, our territory once. It's, it's not anymore. Uh, if you guys are not talking yeah. in character, shh. I, I understand. My, my whole family has gone now. Everyone I know. Yeah. He like kind of looks around. And <laughs> he kind of looks around at all these white people sitting around you. Like, this place is th- this car is pretty full. These are people going from like one stop to the next. Mm. So uh, it's there's a lot of people. Um, all right, I'm, I'm gonna ask him what he's. Uh, what are you? What are you traveling to? Where are you going? Traveling north. Why north? To meet my mother. Mm. Oh, I'm doing the the same thing actually. I'm going back to. She's <laughs> not there. I'll <laughs> <laughs> we'll start giving us damage if you interrupt. Oh my god! <laughs> There's too many people. <laughs> uh, to, to meet my mother. Oh. Family is important. Friends are important. Yes. Loyalty is important. Yes, it is. Right. <laughs> yeah, he seems pretty. He seems angry. He seems like super angry. Like, oh, I'm just angry. All right. I'm the not at you, but like just angry. No, I get it. It's like, like bursting out of him, you can't control it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You guys, did you guys actually try to sit down with him or just kind of standing there and talking to him? I was, I was just standing there talking to him. Yeah, he okay. seems like he's not one for conversation, so I'm probably he, good. He I'm doesn't. Standing. He just seems kind of like angry now. Um, are you continuing on to the express car? I'll be with you in just a moment, John. No, I'm just Oh, okay. Oh, then I won't. My oh, my holy shit. Fuck, we forgot that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need to do something. Hey, how are you doing? Hey. <laughs> I'm your colleague. <laughs> he says, Shut up here, bud. In the white language, I am walking wolf. Uh-huh.